This video is sponsored by Fishing Clash. Since the 1970s, we've known something is wrong. Something is lurking, hidden behind the dust and gas of our galaxy, so completely that our best telescopic eyes cannot find it. But it's there. And while Edwin Hubble told us the universe is flying apart in all directions, there is more to the story than the spreading of galaxies spawned by the Big Bang. A lot more. While apocalyptic scenarios are a dime a dozen these days, this one beckons from across the universe like a great cosmic monster that is slowly gobbling up all that enters its domain. An intergalactic Venus flytrap, snaring its prey before it can escape. It's the Great Attractor, named by astronomer Alan Dressler. And like it or not, our galaxy and every other galaxy in our subdivision of the universe is racing towards it right now. Welcome to Fact Nominal. In today's video, we dive into this fascinating and perhaps deadly corner of space that has us in its intractable grasp, and something even larger that is grasping at that very thing itself. Is it our ultimate doom? The solid Earth under our feet and our stationary world are illusions on the highest scale. We stand on plates that move like ships on the sea covering a planet spinning at roughly 1,000 miles or 1,600 kilometers per hour, all while orbiting the Sun at about 67,000 miles or 107,000 kilometers per hour. The only reason we are not hanging on for dear life is that we are moving with it at the same constant speed. With all this motion going on around us, isn't it great to relax and have a blast with an exciting game that everyone can enjoy? It's Fishing Clash, and the game is free and available on iOS and Android. Fishing Clash is an amazingly immersive adventure enjoyed by millions of enthusiasts that takes you into the most beautiful fishing locales our home planet has to offer. Want to use the most awesome equipment to catch the most exotic fish in the solar system? Download right now from the link in the description. Choose your favorite gear, special lore, and even your fishing buddies. With Fishing Clash, you can even go head-to-head -head with other expert anglers with different competitive and fun events every week. And if you're a new player, you can use my gift code for an extra special reward to enjoy a 3-star rod for more bonuses, the Florida Pro License to increase your speed, catch chance, and get more points overall, 50 lucky power-ups to start to get you the perfect fish, and even 30 weight power-ups to help you reel in that trophy fish for bragging rights. All of this is a total value of $20. To redeem your gift code, simply follow these three steps, available to new players only. The game is free and available on iOS and Android. Our sun is moving as well and taking us along for the ride as it orbits the center of our galaxy and Sagittarius A, its supermassive black hole at a blazing 137 miles or 220 kilometers per second. How fast is this? If the Earth moved around the Sun this fast, our years would only be 18 days long, and birthdays would come around much more often. But the Milky Way is hurtling through the universe at a speed that makes this seem almost stationary, a blindingly fast 1.3 million miles or 2.2 million kilometers per hour. And what it's racing towards is drawing every cosmically near object into its grasp. If only we could see exactly what the Great Attractor is. The Big Bang tells humanity that every point in the universe should be getting farther away from every other point, as space itself has been stretching and carrying matter with it. But matter attracts matter, and something is overpowering the Big Bang-initiated movement and drawing our galactic neighborhood towards it instead. So why can't we see it? Some say the world will end in fire. Some say in ice. But is its end a hidden point in space that we cannot see but are speeding towards right this moment? And why can't we see it, since we have gotten pretty adept at peering into the cosmos over the past few centuries? The reason is the quaintly named Zone of Avoidance, a part of the sky that is in the general direction of the center of our Milky Way. Our galaxy's disk and the stars, gas, dust, and more stars and gas that occupy the hazy area do a great job of blocking our vision into this critical area, where, like it or not, we are all headed. 
It consists of large parts of the galactic equator and obstructs roughly 20% of our view outside of the Milky Way using visible wavelengths. So, when we look in this direction with our telescopes, what we see, or do not see, does not explain why we are being pulled there at such an extreme speed. When the Great Attractor was discovered in the 1970s by astronomers, making detailed maps of the cosmic microwave background, our vision was limited largely to visible light, but not so much anymore. We detected movement that should not be there by finding one side of the Milky Way is slightly warmer than the other. Not a lot to go on, but fortunately, our detection methods have improved in the decades since. With X-ray technology and radio astronomy advancing exponentially in recent years, we now have a much better idea of what is behind the zone of avoidance, and maybe even why we are inextricably being pulled into that fateful direction. In the late 1990s and early 2000s, the iconic Parkes Radio Telescope in New South Wales began using an innovative instrument to make sweeping radio surveys of the heavens. These previously impossible, blind explorations of parts of the universe we will never see from Earth with our eyes peered straight through the zone of avoidance like it's not even there. And what it saw, relatively speaking, pushed astronomers closer to knowing what our eyes will never see. Mass is attracted to mass. Something roughly 150 million light years from us is drawing us into its grasp. This much we know. And since gravity is the only force that we are aware of that could pull so much over so far, something massive even on the universal scale must be there. The first suspect found by the sweeping radio survey by Parkes, which took a decade to even sift through, is the Norma Cluster. With a mass of about 1,000 trillion suns and consisting of thousands of galaxies, not to mention its location in the area of the Great Attractor, maybe that's the cause of our motion towards that fateful area. But no, there's not enough mass even in the Norma Cluster to account for the unimaginably powerful pull. Here's where it gets a bit complicated. The Great Attractor and Norma Cluster occupy the same general area. But the mass of the Great Attractor has to be something more. Most astronomers believe it is the gravitational center of the Lanikia supercluster, which our Milky Way and 100,000 other galaxies belong to. Still others credit a confluence of dark energy. Now, let's move from complicated to strange. The Great Attractor itself is being pulled. Seriously. Some believe the Great Attractor is being drawn to the Shapely Supercluster, a grouping of some 8,000 galaxies roughly 650 million light-years away, that has also been suspected to be the Great Attractor itself. And that cosmic neighborhood hosts another prime suspect, the Vela Supercluster, discovered in 2016 by astronomers at the University of Cape Town in South Africa. It resides roughly 800 million light-years away, and, like Shapely, has been hidden behind the zone of avoidance. It contains up to 100,000 galaxies. Seemingly enough to be the draw for the Great Attractor itself and making Lanakia seem rather puny, according to Dr. Matthew Collis from the Australian National University. The Vela Supercluster might explain the difference between the measured motion of the Milky Way and the motion predicted from the distribution of previously mapped galaxies, we got all but about 10% of the motion figured out. Now, we've found the Vela Supercluster. This might be the final bit of the puzzle to make it all add up. Meaning, there are still loose ends to be tied up before our being pulled into the great cosmic pileup is completely explained. So, are we doomed to be dragged into this intergalactic heap that ends the universe as we know it? Most scientists say no, and for multiple reasons. Some believe that the universe ends in the Big Crunch, the culmination of clumping together that theoretically could result in another Big Bang. And many credit dark energy with ultimately ripping these superclusters apart and driving them away from each other, thus thwarting our cosmic collision before it happens. So what do you think about our being pulled towards the Great Attractor and even beyond? Is it unsettling to know that we are being pinballed around the universe in ways we are just now discovering? Tell us in the comments. 
And as always, thank you for watching Factnomenal. And don't forget to download Fishing Clash through the link below, free and available on iOS and Android.